Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest SUVs video where I show the best fully upgraded SUVs in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check our original SUVs video, but otherwise let's see where the new Landstalker XL and Seminole Frontier fall into that list. So first up we've got the Seminole Frontier which is in 18th place for the SUVs class now and just as is the case with a lot of the vehicles from this DLC, it seems like the, they are slightly quicker than their original counterparts, but not quite as, you know, they're, they're just not impressive and in the class overall. And that is very much the case with these two SUVs, both the Seminole Frontier and the Landstalker XL. They're not, they're not that great, you know, they're, they're just bog standard SUVs in terms of lap time. The Seminole is a little bit more fun to drive. It's a little bit more nimble with some better brakes and whereas the Landstalker XL is, you know, this big hulking vehicle, but both of them are way off the pace. Just to keep in mind that the Seminole deflector modification does add traction like a spoiler, so keep that in mind if you do get one and you want to go as quickly as possible with it. But as we can see in 17th place, we've got the Landstalker XL, so the Landstalker and the Seminole are both very close in terms of lap time. They're right, they're directly next to each other in terms of position in the SUV's class. With a 116.5, the Landstalker is a little bit quicker, but you know we're, we're a good 12 seconds per lap slower than the very top vehicle in the class, and we'll see the comparison between them. The regular Landstalker is three places below the Landstalker XL, about 1.3 seconds per lap slower, with the regular Seminole 11 places below the Frontier, nearly four seconds per lap slower so that's showing you the comparison between you know those two versions the the Seminole Frontier and the Landstalker XL are certainly quicker than their original counterparts but they're definitely not you know anything special overall they're not that much quicker they're not that big of an improvement and this is the comparison that really shows that off because the Landstalker XL for some unbelievable reason is 1.2 million dollars it's more than double the cost of the number one vehicle the Tauros and you can see the comparison between them in terms of lap time the Tauros is just flying ahead yes the Tauros is a bit of a you know difficult car to handle with the advanced handling flags it's certainly been made a little bit better with the the casino heist updates but it's still not fantastic but you could crash a good two or three times around a lap, every lap in the Tauros, and still get a quicker lap time than a Landstalker XL. And the Landstalker XL isn't even that impressive when it comes to customization or anything like that. I just can't understand why it's $1.2 million. It's obscene. It's a, it's a ridiculous price. And for you know a 1 minute 16 lap time for the Landstalker XL, it's just, you know, it is just another variation of a previous vehicle as well, which is a common thing we've been seeing with a lot of the vehicles in this DLC. Not an awful lot of imagination going on because they're just, you know, a Seminole Frontier, a POT Custom, a Landstalker XL. It's all vehicles that we've previously had. And that is fine on the face of it. But to then make that, you know, to then charge $1.2 million for a vehicle that's only... 1.3 seconds quicker than the original Landstalker and way off the pace in the class it's kind of it, it's not really very good to be honest so definitely stay away from the Landstalker the Frontier is a little bit more interesting to drive and obviously less expensive but it's still quite expensive on its own but you know neither of them are going to be doing anything in SUV races anytime soon so that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to get testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.